In this video, we're going over password managers, specifically KeyPass and LastPass versus not using one. So I get this all the time. Hey, do you use a password manager? Which one do you use? Which one do you trust? And really, it's kind of a complicated answer because really all of them kind of suck if not used properly. So let's first go over not having a password manager. What happens uh, if you have like everything stored in a safety box or a safe at your house and you write down unique nonsensical passwords for every single site you visit and you write it down on that little notepad and then lock it away in a safe that no one has the access to? Is that the best way? Yeah, that's probably the most secure way you could probably do it. However, that's not practical. No one does that. I don't care what the trolls in the comments say. What ends up happening is one, they either write it down on a notebook that sits on the person's desk, which that's a huge security risk, or a lot of times, more often than not, they end up just using the exact same password on multiple sites. So when someone does that, what ends up happening is a site in their list gets compromised. Let's say it's a forum site that didn't have very good security. Well, that then gets put on the dark web. Some hacker or alleged hacker, I'm, I'm just going to call it like a script kitty because really those people I don't think are very talented, but however, they're very resourceful. So they'll just take someone else's work from one of these database dumps and then they see, hey, this person used this username and password on this site, and then they take that combination and then call it versus a lot of other sites that they know they can get in and get useful information out of. So that's a major concern, and probably most of the population fits into this, and it's something to really watch out for because it's super bad. I can't emphasize how bad this is, and uh, most of the population make this mistake. Enter password managers and really why I recommend them because most people can't secure it in the real world, therefore it's better to secure it in password managers. Now having said that, not all password managers are created equal. First off, don't use a password manager bundled with an antivirus or an internet security suite. These are super bad. Like there's a ton of companies that do it like Norton, McAfee, uh, just to name a few, those are the big dogs. I'm not just picking on them. Don't do this. These password managers are inherently bad. I mean, there's a whole variety of reasons that I don't really want to get into, but just don't do it uh, because then you're pretty much at the will of this company, one, to update their security, two, you're actually having to shell out money for updates and other things that happen, and three, it's additional overhead because you're installing this software that you're now paying for to have. It's just like a lock-in mechanism for most of these big companies to do these password managers. And let's say that your antivirus starts really sucking and now you wanna switch, but you're locked in with their password management. You almost have to stay with them because all your passwords are there. That's so dumb. Just don't ever, ever use a password manager that is bundled with other software. End of story. So with those things out of the way, what password managers do I recommend? Well, I recommend two password managers for two different types of people. The first on my list is KeyPass and I'll put the link in the description down below. KeyPass is basically just a password manager that is an application that runs on your computer. It is open source, it's a great, great uh, password manager. However, it does have its limitations. First off, you need to be able to secure your environment. And I would say for most mom and pops, you're not really able to practically do that or know how to do it in a fashion that I would be comfortable with. However, most of the users and watchers of this channel are very tech savvy and you will be able to lock down your environment, lock down your computer, uh, know that, hey, not allowing it to auto log in and sharing your master password to easily get in and have access to it. Maybe setting up a tar pit in the key pass to where it won't 
respond to password success or failure unless one or two seconds have gone by so you stave off brute force attacks on KeePass. Because uh, if you're not set up properly on KeePass, uh, someone that's doing penetration testing or someone that is a security expert can easily get in, crack your key pass, and then have free reign of all the passwords that are stored in there. I don't really see this happen often. Yes, it's a very small percentage that is able or has the skills to do this. However, it is still a concern. Uh, there's not a lot of great things out of the box to really make KeePass the absolute most secure option. However, if someone that is tech savvy and does use it properly and is able to set it up properly, uh, yes, you totally can use KeePass. It's a great application. It's completely free. It's completely open source and it will remain that way forever. So you never have to worry about you know, hey, all of a sudden the company charging more money or something happening and then it just stopped working. It's all there. A lot of people use it. It'll be going pretty much forever. So that's why I love KeePass for those that like to have their entire password stored locally. But remember, you're in charge of your security and that's the really big thing about KeePass. Uh, however, it is a fantastic software. I love it, and if you can secure it, again, definitely use it. So with KeePass down, what's my second password manager I recommend? And most of the population falls into this that aren't tech savvy, and that's going to be LastPass. LastPass is a fantastic password manager. They don't have any recorded password breaches as far as someone hacking their systems and then getting all the user's passwords. They've done a very good job with maintaining and managing user information, which is great. Their pricing plans are a little weird. Like when I look and I honestly love them to where I was like, hey, if I wanted to pay for a plan, what do I get? And a lot of the features I just don't really care for, so I would just recommend staying on the free plan for now. Now that said, when their premium plans and charges started to arise, they did lock down like mobile access and other things, but they've since got a little more lax with that. Now we might be seeing more of a Dropbox situation where like I used to recommend Dropbox for file hosting and sharing and signed up probably hundreds of people over the course of the past 10 years. So I've accumulated probably around 30 to 40 gigs of free space on Dropbox. However, I noticed they started limiting my devices. I've been getting warning emails and other things for the past couple of months because Dropbox decided after all these years to say, hey, we're not gonna allow you to use a whole bunch of devices on our service if you're a free member. LastPass could do the same thing down there. They now, you're now locked into their service and their system to where, you know, if they wanna change it up, you're probably gonna have to shell out some money if you were a free member down the road. Uh, I'm skeptical on this, and since, you know, Dropbox pretty much stuck it to me this past couple of months, I see, uh, I, I, as much as I love LastPass and I think they're a wonderful company, much like Dropbox, I mean, they're still a wonderful company. At the end of the day, they need to make some money and I worry about their pricing changing in the future and basically forcing people to use them. So that's a concern, that's my main concern with them. Now, getting down to the security aspects of LastPass, I really don't have too much. I mean, when you sign up for it, set up two-factor. So with two-factor going, a strong master password, and as long as you're running their security challenges and following their best practices, you're gonna have a very secure environment. Lots of people are not gonna have access to a lot of your passwords, which is great. You know, it's gonna force you to change and have a different password for every site out there. Um, some security concerns, if someone gets local access to your computer, you have auto login and remember my password, uh, chances are they're going to be able to get in there and steal and get into all your stuff. So definitely if you're security conscious, which you should be, I definitely don't recommend auto login and remember my password on LastPass because getting access to someone's computer is pretty easy these days. 
and that is probably the most vulnerable spot for LastPass, but at the same token, every password manager is at fault for this because most people want the ease of access use, and to get ease of access, you have to give up security. This is the whole chicken and egg situation when it comes to security as a system admin. I've dealt with this for years and years and years. Usually when it comes to security, you have to give up a little convenience. And that means don't tick remember my master password and auto login. But if you don't care too much about your security, eh, then yes, I guess you can do it and have the convenience knowing that you're giving up the security, meaning someone locally could log into your computer or remote into your computer and then have access to all those passwords. So that's the issues that I see with password management and also when you do it locally. So those are all of your options. I know this was a little convoluted, but I at least wanted to kind of throw those out there. LastPass is probably my recommended solution for most people. If you have to ask, I'm gonna recommend LastPass. But those that want a free software and open source solution where they hold all their information locally, there's something to be said for saying, hey, my password database is in my environment, on my servers, and nobody's gonna take it from me. So those are, are the main reasons why you'd want like KeePass, because there's something to be said for that. However, you just gotta remember, you're in charge of your security at that point, where LastPass, they have a really good security mechanism in place and also an audit capability to where it'll audit most of your passwords and do recommendations which I think all the recommendations are spot on and a user should definitely follow them. But that's as much as I can drone on about password managers. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.